Hello and you're very welcome back to Film Resolved, the channel where you can learn filmmaking techniques and how to pull them all together in DaVinci Resolve. Today's episode is a little different because I'm addressing somewhat of a bug that is in DaVinci Resolve that some of my subscribers are experiencing. So the bug we're addressing is when you attempt to drag and drop media straight from an external window directly into your media pool or media bins. It just pings back and doesn't allow you to do it. It's important to note that this is a bug on Windows to the best of my knowledge. I'm really not sure about what the story is on Mac and that the solution is simply what worked for me and hopefully it works for you too. The best way that you can support the channel and give back a little is to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and the notification bell. But with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So in my experience, the reason this problem occurs is because whether you meant to or not, which we will discuss in a moment, you have run Resolve in administrator mode and that disallows you to drag and drop media in from external windows or from a Windows Explorer window. So let's actually do that and show it in action. So I'll just right click and right click again on the DaVinci Resolve application. I'm gonna click run as administrator. So I'm forcing this to run as administrator, you'll get this window. So we'll either hit yes to run it as administrator or we'll hit no and it won't run at all. So let's run this, we'll let it boot up and then we'll show the, the problem in action. So first let's just prove that this isn't a compatibility issue in terms of codec. So in my media storage, I will drag and drop clip6.mp4 here, a compatible codec, into our media bin. And as you can see, it goes in no problem. So we know for sure that this clip is compatible. I'll get rid of that and I'm gonna bring up our external window where I have the exact same clip. And if I go to drag and drop this from an Explorer window, it just simply does not compute. It does not let us import that because we've run it in administrator mode. So now I'm going to quit resolve with control Q and I'm just going to run it in normal mode, just not administrator mode. And then we'll do the exact same and show that does indeed correct the issue. And then we're going to move on to if resolve is automatically forcing you to run in administrator mode and how to fix that. And that's not really a resolve tutorial so much as it's a Windows uh, operating system tutorial, but we want to make sure we cover all bases for you here and hope that we fix the problem for you. So that'll be coming up shortly. But first, let's just prove that it is an administrator mode issue. So now that we have rebooted Resolve in non-administrator mode, I'm going to grab clip six and you can see we can drag and drop and import that into Resolve with no issues. So now that we have that confirming our suspicions, let's look at if Resolve is booting automatically in administrator mode and the window settings that you need to do to fix that. If when you click to run the Resolve application, you are immediately met with this window, the run as administrator window, you might think, well, then I'm just at a loss because if you click yes, it runs as administrator, the problem continues. If you click no, it doesn't run at all. So here is how to go about fixing that. If you come to local disk C or wherever you have Resolve installed, which typically will be your local disk C, we'll come to program files. Then we'll come down to Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, and then we scroll way down to R. And you see here this Resolve option, the application. This is what you're looking for, the application of Resolve. If we right click and come down to properties, and then we come to this compatibility window. And then here you can see that run this program as an administrator is ticked by default. If we uncheck that, hit apply and hit OK. And then now we can come back to launching Resolve. And you can see now that it goes straight into launching it, not as an administrator. And there's a whole host of reasons why that might have been set by default. You could be on someone else's computer. You could be on a work machine. You might have done a setting when setting up Windows for the first time that triggers everything to be in administrator mode by default. There's a whole host of reasons, but this isn't ultimately a Windows tutorial. This is a DaVinci Resolve tutorial. So we'll let this finish booting up and just prove once again that you can now drag and drop from an external window into DaVinci Resolve, so long as you don't run it as an administrator. So we've just finished booting up Resolve yet again, and I was gonna grab our same clip, and you can see that we have no problems pulling that in. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Did I miss something that should have been covered in this tutorial? Leave a comment below so I know to cover it in a future episode. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. My name is Lee Dalton, this is Film Resolved. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh,